Okay, so this is going to be the start of the episode. It'll also be a short. This is going to decide our week in league. We're playing it Sunday and Monday. It's going to be a one of three 88 plus icon player pick. This will be the centerpiece. What are we going to get? Oh, damn. Okay, we just packed the new Galazzo Cafu. So we're obviously not going to take him. Casillas, possibly. Raul is decent, but only one play style plus. Let's take the best goalkeeper in the game. Hopefully it'll uh geez, hopefully it'll get us some good rewards. Okay, guys. Um episode 55. There has been some cards that have been packed that I got on the web app. Um we played the cup. I got home, we played the cup, and then we had um kind of a team uh, not orientation thing, but we just had like a team thing that went on. And I opened up all my rewards, and we packed some incredible. And when I mean incredible, I mean some of the best cards in the promo. Like, if you watch the videos and you know my team, these two cards are on the bench this weekend. And they're not going to stay on the bench. Obviously, Cruyff is probably probably my favorite card in the game outside of Garincha, who also isn't on the bench right now. He might come on for Ribery. I'm not sure. I want to try the Sanchez out also because we packed him during foot birthday. And his stats look very, very good. Um, so we are going to give him a go. Now, we are going to almost build an entirely new team. We're also going to be trying to get the first 10 games to be um, some XP grind, trying to get Van Persie's um, uh, baby version. Um, because a little bit later in the video, after I show you the team, we're going to get another new player. And we have packed. Like I said, some incredible cards. So without further ado, we're going to go through the whole team. Then I'm going to show you what SBC I'm working on. And then the next video is going to be some gameplay with the team and just kind of seeing how we like the new cards. I'm going to use a completely different team this weekend. Um, cards will come off the bench and whatnot, but I'm going to do my best to use different players. Without further ado... As you saw at the start of the episode, we packed Casillas. Now, we passed on him a couple weeks ago because I think we got Sanchez um, out of the Icon pick the last time. So, Casillas, arguably one of the best goalies in the game. Going into our right back, I packed him. I wish I would have packed him for the video, but we have Golazo Cafu. This card. I understand that I spent 100k on Spinazzola, and I've talked about how much I love him. There is no chance I am using Spinazzola over this card now. I'll burn the 100k. I don't even care. He can be one of those cup cup players we got. But yeah, Kafu, one of two amazing cards we got in at center back. We are using Araujo, and we are also going to use BVD. If I can find him. Did I pass him? Crazy. I did. Reason being, um, Araujo, we're working on the Evo. I definitely think this card is going to be great as the 91 with that extra two pace. Uh, wonderful card. He's gonna, I think he goes up to 90 reactions. If not, his defending goes up a little bit. Great card, especially at 6'2". He's agile enough where he can play kind of as that left center back that I talked about a little bit where my left back pushes forward. Um, we already spoiled one card, but we completed arguably the best SBC in the game. Um, I know I talked about spending my coins, but we had a mass amount of fodder. We had some special cards we weren't using, so I went and did two of many <clears throat> with an anchor. This card is going to be the best DM. He is not even, or Rodri is not even going to hold a candle to this card. So there's our first, our main DM. Now at left back, we're going with Rolfo who was probably one of the only cards that's a normal mainstay, just because I like her too much in the midfield. He's that left back right now because our DM is going to be Sergio Gomez. We're going to bring him back into the team with that relentless plus, bombing up and down the wing, five-star skills, four-star foot. not as many play styles as I would like, but he basically plays as a left winger anyways. They're going to switch in-game. The first cam is... Somebody that I've always wanted to try, his price point was just too high, and that is Charlton. This card with a five-star weak foot is going to be playing as our right center mid. He is incredible. I don't even know what I'm going to put on him. Maybe something with 
physical. His passing is good enough. I might just give him a hawk. Um, <clears throat> he's got ping, he's got incisive, he's got long ball, and he's got power shot. This card is absurd. Our other cam is somebody that I've talked about, but I don't know if she's been in a video, and that's Mertens. Um, or Martens, I don't know how you say it. So, excuse me, another card with <clears throat> incisive pass. She's got the plus version. I've used her a little bit, maybe in squad battles. And then some easy rival games. Her card looks phenomenal. She's going to be playing as our left forward that kind of drops back. And then our two main men up front. Another new card in Berbatov. And I know we're working on the baby, but we have Van Persie. So today we have packed three Gonzolo icons and two prime forms of the heroes. Berbatov looks incredible. Um... This kind of like got me into, you know, he was one of those older players in the older generation that I started watching uh, when he was on um, United. And he's just, he was just such a calm and composed player. Like he is, he was sick. Um, and he's never had a good card in FIFA, right? So his hero this year, like this year, obviously, his cards have sucked. Even his UCL, they didn't even make him usable. This card is usable. Finesse and Travella Plus is mental. I don't know if anybody has it. Um, so he's going to be crucial in that right forward spot. We are going to use him as a right forward to start. I'm going to switch between Van Persie. That's why I said it might not work out um, that all these players aren't going to play because I might end up taking out Van Persie and switching it so we bring back uh, Garincha to play as that right forward. And then Van Persie's got technical, which is great for up front, especially, you know, just pinging that pass right at him and kind of creating our own lane. And his shooting is just phenomenal. So we're going to give both our strikers an engine, and this is the team we're going to run. Obviously, we lose out of Maldini. We're not going to use Ronaldo. We might put him in, but I'm trying to get 14 wins. When you compare these two, it's actually insane. How like how much better this card is, um, and just you know, Rodri's good, but he's a little clunky with the agility not being very high and four four versus you know I think many has got seventy two no eighty and eighty one, way better pass yeah there's just better play style just everything about being a defensive midfielder he has so that's gonna be it for the team. We do no editing. We're going to go straight into the SBC that everybody is dreading, and that's Big Al. Al away, Ron, with only four play styles because they probably didn't want to make him OP. But we're going to get him done. His card looks phenomenal for only like 600k worth of fodder. The reason I'm doing him is because I haven't been getting a lot of finesse shots and outside of the, like, Travella's outside of the box. A lot of it is, you know, getting down the wing, playing one twos, and hitting strikes on guys' strong foots. That's why I have Garincha on the right. I can't play him on the left because I don't use finesse shots a ton. And Ribery, if I play him on the right, I don't want to be taking weak foot finesse shots. I want strong foots on their suited side. So he will be my kind of comeback. He'll play where Martins is playing this weekend. Five star skills, four star weak foot, six foot. So a lot of my attackers besides Garincha are normally just one big you know, target striker and Cruyff. Now we're going to have another, you know, bigger physical strength. I know his strength's only 80, but he is going to have um, a hawk on him because I want to boost, um, you know, long shots as well as shot power. I want, I think the hawk sometimes gives a better um, overall. And my left, what is he, left forward normally doesn't score as many goals. He creates more chances. So 87 passing is decent. And then, again, he has incisive and tiki taka. So that is going to be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys maybe had seen this short and wanted to come to the video. I wanted to make just a video just to see how like a you know five to seven minute video does. but. Um, or maybe eight minutes. I'm not really sure how long this is going to be, but I hope you guys are really enjoying this promo. I am. The cards are easy to pack. I think the drop rate is substantially higher than any other promo, especially the big cards. 
And yeah, hopefully the start of your weekend league was good. Or if you're just finishing, hopefully your packs are good. And we'll get into some gameplay tomorrow as you're seeing this today, I guess. And yeah, hopefully you guys have a good weekend. Press the out. Peace.